here in Daniel 9.27 says, And he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the offering to cease. And upon a wing of abomination shall come one who makes desolate, until a decreed end is poured out on the desolator. Okay, we see this here in this time chart, and in what the Holy Spirit has shown me, and He's shown me this for quite a while, is 3 plus 3 plus 3. Now, here in this, this time chart, this is an accurate time chart. You have a 10-year cycle, 2010 and 2020. 20, 2010 was the middle of a 7-year cycle. This is the first day. 20, 2003, 6th trumpet, 14 years. 7 is 209, begins the, the, uh, the carryover. Here brings us to 2010, which is the first day of a new 7-year cycle. The first year. 2016 was the 49th year. It was the Sabbath year. 49 plus 1. This is the Sabbath year. The three days, the three years. These are the three days of darkness report also. Three days of darkness are here. Down here. Okay? After 2020. So we have three days. Now, we have three year cycles. 20. 2010, 20, 2013, the Lord said to me, the seven years have begun. It was right here in the fourth year of that seven-year cycle. Three more years is 2016. Three more years is 2019. At the end of that was the coronavirus. That was the end of the seven years have begun. So you have the three-year cycle, 2016, 2019. And then you have, at the end of 2019, okay, and then three more years at the end of uh, 2020, 2020 is one, 2022 is one, 20, at the end of 2023, there's another three-year cycle that begins. And uh, the, um, uh, the 42 months, I'm going to get into that as well. So what I want to show you here, is the you have three, three plus three plus three plus three. It's a three year cycle. And I'll show you this on, on the menorahs here. Okay, so I have two menorahs. And then after 2020 is says is great tribulation for six six six. Okay. This is how it's gonna happen. Now, the years are accurate, but the second coming of Christ, no one knows when that's going to happen. But um, this is the um, end here of the seven years have begun. And then you have the, this is the ninth year this uh, from the 14 year cycle. Okay. So I'm going to, I can go over all these numbers. You'll see they, they all match perfectly. So I want to go here regarding these two menorahs right now. So we have one, two, three, fourth dimension, one, two, three, fourth dimension judgment, one, two, three, fourth dimension judgment, one, two, three, fourth dimension judgment. So we have a 10 year cycle. Here we have seven. Okay, seven years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a judgment. Ten year cycle. So we have here what you would have. Okay, what he showed me, what the Holy Spirit showed me, is that from 2013, you have one, two, three years, and then this is Jesus on the cross. From 2013, that, that seven-year cycle was Jesus Christ on the cross. Okay, I have that in the other time chart. So here, in the center, is when Jesus Christ spoke to the two thieves on the cross. Jesus Christ was on the cross for six hours. So here you have the one on his right, and you have the one on his left. One blasphemes him, and the other one says, you know, why are you talking like that? This man is an innocent man, but we justly deserve our punishment. And so Jesus turned to his right, and he said, truly I tell you today, this day, this day, as, as you are this day, because what you said this day, you shall be with me in paradise. 
And so then you have the, the, the last three days were days of darkness. And then the church, so here we count the three days, the three years of the ministry of Christ and the last three hours of Jesus on the cross. These are the woes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then we start a seven-year cycle. So this cycle is 2016. This is, the, this is 2017. This is 2016. This is 2015 here. Uh, this is 2014. This is 2013, right? Once again, you have the four, uh, four, fourth year of the cycle, 2013. Uh, this is 2012 here. This is 2011, the beginning of the Syria war, and 2010, the middle of the, the, the first beginning of a seven-year cycle where uh, they made the agreement with Bashar Assad for Syria, promising him Jerusalem. So all these things are happening here. So in 2013, the Holy Spirit spoke to me here. In 2013, he said the seven years have begun. December 25 of 2012 is when he said that, right here. So right here and right here ends the seven-year cycle from where the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, said that. And so we have one, two, here. Three years is another three-year cycle. Okay? And so we have six years. The number of men, Jesus Christ on the, on, on the, uh, on the cross, one, two, three. The church is on the cross, one, two, three, flesh, soul, spirit. And then we have the times of, these are times of darkness, but the great darkness, then you have the, the, the judgment here on the 10th year, okay, because you have 2010 here, 10 year cycles going this way. And then you have the judgment, and you have, once again, the two thieves on the cross. Then you have the three woes. It's done. And then you have uh, the resurrection. Uh, Jesus Christ is on the cross. Today he'll be with me in paradise. And then after three days, he rose from the dead. Okay, he's sealing everything up right now. Flesh, soul, and spirit. And... Um, that's it. That's what he showed me regarding this. Okay, for this this segment. So what I'm what I'm saying is that if Joe Biden remains president, then we are going we're going to go into the three days of darkness. And those three days of darkness are going to be here. One, two, three. It's going to be great tribulation. And, of course, Jesus went through the three days of darkness as well. Three hours on the cross. And so the church follows great spiritual tribulation. Great spiritual tribulation, 2017, 2018, 2019. is dark because of the... Um, is dark because the uh, New World Order of Lucifer is infiltrated the church. It's times of major deception. It's great spiritual tribulation. And then the judgment. We're in the judgment year right now. And after this year, it's going to begin the first woe. It's going to be darkness. It's going to be great darkness. Whether Joe Biden remains president or not, right now it looks, it looks like he is going to be remaining president. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens and manifests there. But... Um, there's a lot more to talk about. I want to get to the other chart. So here is, here's the other chart. Right here. Okay, this is another chart that the Holy Spirit had me do. This speaks regarding the three years. Three plus three plus three. So here you have the three years. Okay. 2013, the seven years have begun. December 25th, 2012. Three years from Passover to Passover to Passover. Jesus Christ fulfilled the Passover. And then we have the first day, the second day, the third day of Jesus Christ, the ministry. And this is the uh, first days of 
this is these are the, the the woes of Jesus Christ on the cross and then we have the 49th year here they have Pentecost for the church to do so the church has to do the the, the, the Passover or the Pe Pentecost and it's for three years and you notice here the 2020 if you start at the Jubilee year which is the 50th year here this is the 50th year it's the 50th year here Jubilee year 2020 is the fullness of the Gentiles it's the 53rd year that's the fullness of the Gentiles and then I wrote here no more delay okay the judgment is going to ensue there's no more delay and then we have from 2020 we have the great tribulation okay there's no more delay and so god is god is going to quickly he, he's already quickly closing the age and that's what he's going to do that's what's going to happen so now this prophecy runs until 2031 okay this prophecy because the seven year cycle begins here this is where the 70 year cycle begins the seven trumpet sounds the seven trumpet sounds here, and, and this is the completion. This is the ninth year. This is the seventh year, eighth year, and this is the ninth year here. Or this is the eighth year, and this is the ninth year, 2018. After the ninth year is the completion, and uh, it was when uh, the 70th year celebration of the, the, the Republic of China, 2019. That's when they had their celebration. So, after this, you have the 53rd year, which is the fullness of the Gentiles. And here we have, um, this is 67 plus 46 is 2013. Body of Jesus Christ is placed in a tomb here. Um, and he rose... Okay, he rose here on the third day. It's the resurrection day because it's in between, in between the, the Sabbath and the first day of the week. This is the seventh day. And this here is the first day of the week according to Matthew 25, 28, verse 1. Okay, 28, verse 1. And so now... 2017 we're in the same this is the scenario and this was the same scenario when Jesus Christ rose from the dead and so here is uh, 20 so here once again is Jesus Christ on the cross okay the last this is the the last three hours darkness covered the earth and then we have 2016 and then we have 2017. Jesus rose right here. This is where he rose. So you have uh, the, uh, the six years on the cross, even if you begin in 2020 or 2010. Okay, in 2010, you can go that way. You have seven years, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. And then you have the resurrection, 20, 2017, 2018, 2019. That's for the church. And then you have the judgment. So you have your 10 years here, right here, from 2010 to 2020. Okay, you see the, the, these numbers, it doesn't matter what you do, they're irrefutable. You can't, you cannot argue these numbers uh, basically because of the uh, the Jubilee year. Because of the Jubilee year. You can't argue it. The 49th year from 1967. 67. Okay, from 67. And not it, it wasn't all aligned yet because 67, uh, the, um, um, the seven-year Sabbath and the Jubilee year. It was both. It was, a, it was a Jubilee year and a Sabbath year. It was both. You notice how they took over Jerusalem and then they blew the shofar. Right, it was Jubilee and Sabbath. And so here you have 1967 here. This was the seventh day of a seven year cycle. It was a Sabbath year. 67 was a Sabbath year. And then here in 67, they took Jerusalem and they sounded the, 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 the shofar. 
And so it was a Sabbath Jubilee year because the seventh year, this is the official, uh, this is the official Jubilee year, and this is the official Sabbath year. Okay, and so uh, it wasn't all lined up yet, as it is here, because the 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 the, um, the Jubilee year has to land on the um, on the first day of the week. So here in 1967 is the carryover. The Jubilee year landed on 67. It landed on the seventh day. Okay. So I carried it over and I put 67 here. So 67 and 67. And so you have the seventh year, which is 67, and you have the Jubilee year. Okay. So this is 1968 is the first day of this of the uh, seven year cycle, but uh, the Jubilee year landed here. So another 50 years, it's a 50 year cycle in a 49 year cycle, the Jubilee year then lands over here, you see, after another 50 years. Every 350 years, the Jubilee lands on the first day of the week. Because it, it, it goes from one year to another year, every 50 years, the Jubilee runs this way, you see. And so here we have everything in alignment. We have the Sabbath year, and then we have the Jubilee year, and then we have uh, the 70th year, Israel physically in the land, Israel spiritually in the land in 2017. Resolution 181, November of, of, 20, of 1947, uh, is 70 years here, here, and then 70 years here, physical years. And... The uh, and so we have the ninth. That's the ninth year. If we go from uh, one one year, uh, the first year begins. If we can go continuously from from uh, starting in the uh, starting from here, you have nine years. If you go by the fourteen years. This is the first day, the second day, and the third day. If you go from here, and you go, you go 14 years from here, this becomes the eighth year, and the ninth year, and the eighth year. And we're going by the um, prophecy of um, Isaiah 23, 15, and Leviticus 25, 10. Okay, that's 10, that number. And... And Leviticus 25, 4, Leviticus 25 is the Sabbath, Leviticus 25 is the Jubilee, and Leviticus 25, 21 and 23, it's not here, is this as well, is not Isaiah 23, 15, it's Isaiah 37, 30, and Leviticus 25, 13. That's in a different um, report, which is the three years, it is one, two, three. And then you eat the produce on the ninth year, and we ate the produce in 2019. And in 2019, December 25, the coronavirus was manifest, was announced. In uh, I think it was December 21 when it was announced in 2019. So everything is lining up now. We have all this, these things lining up, and then we have the tenth year, which is the number of judgment. And what the Holy Spirit what had me right here is great physical tribulation for 666. Okay, great tribulation for 666. So if we look at it this way, now this, so because this is the first year of a new seven-year cycle, the seven trumpet sounds here. First day is the Jubilee year, Matthew 28.1. And then we have sounding of the seven trumpet here, wherever it sounds in 2017. I'm not sure where it sounds, but that's the year where it falls on. They have 14 years. So if you count, let's say, for example, here is 2017, and you want to count 14 years. Okay, so you have 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 22, 23 is seven years. And then you go 8 and 9. So the 8th year would be 2021. Or 
2023, this is 2023, 2024 would be the eighth year, 2025 would be the ninth year, 2026 would be the, the, the tenth year, and 2027 would be uh, the eleventh uh, year, and then you have 28 is the twelfth year, 2029 is the 13th year, and 2030 is the 14th year. That's the end of the prophecy, beginning 2031. Okay, that's the end of this prophecy. So, it, so according to, my pro, to the prophecy that the Holy Spirit gave me, it goes until 2030. If those days have not been short, shortened, says the Lord in, in Matthew 24, no flesh would be alive. So for the, for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. So it's a matter of how many days will it be shortened. If it's shortened six or seven days, that's a year's, then you go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, brings us to 2023, 2024. If it's shortened for a seven year cycle, it will bring us to 2023 to 2024. So that's something that um, is, is open. No one knows. But the prophecy is, is alive up until the end of 2030, beginning of 2031 or so. Okay? So, um, very exciting what's happening, and we just have to uh, um, not go by all, all you know, we, we have to be ready every single day. Uh, this is just a, a watch. You know, the Holy Spirit said, I've made you a watchman to watch, and He's given us revelations. Unless the Lord God watches over the house, the watchman uh, watches in vain, and stays awake in vain. And so God gives us our spiritual eyes to see through the dark. God enlightens our senses. He gives us revelation. And so we, uh, what I've been doing with this is I've been applying all of this with the, with the local news. What is happening? Where are we? Well... We look at the Donald Trump administration, and once again, if Donald Trump is not elected, if he loses, and it looks like he is going to be losing, I don't know for 100% right now. So here in Daniel 27, the sacrifice ceases at the beginning of the three days of darkness. Great physical tribulation, three plus three plus three. So, and it could even be four threes, three plus three plus three plus three, starting at 2010. So here, once again, it says, And he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the offering to cease. So, Jesus Christ, this is both, this speaks regarding both Lucifer and the Lord, Jesus Christ. And so he makes a strong covenant in the, in the midst, in the middle of a seven-week period. He shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the offering to cease. Half of the week. So here's the strong covenant here, and then half of the week the sacrifice ceases. Three days of darkness. What, does the, what is the sacrifice? The sacrifice is having to uh, be in bondage to the world. The sacrifice is having the yoke and the burden of the Lord. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. To, to preach the gospel, uh, to uh, be uh, ambassadors to Christ in this, you know, in this existing world the way it is. And to um, have, you know, live in poverty, it's, to, to sacrifice ourselves, to be here, as Isaiah said, send me, I'll go, I'll sacrifice my life for you. So that's what I wanted to present, and this is where the situation is. Right now, right now, we're here. Obviously, we're at the end of 2020, and the uh, we have the uh, the beast that comes out of the earth, out of the corruption of the flesh, right here, and that's the worst one because that one is the most popular because it it feeds off of the corruption of the flesh. It is the beast of Revelation 13:11, and they're ready. They're ready to put their sacrifice. They're ready to have their sacrifice to cease. Uh, the world is, is, um, is, with all these different movements that they're doing, uh, they're tired, they're, worried, they're weary, they're tired with regulations, they're tired with uh, 
the yoke and burden uh, that's been put upon them and uh, it's ready to go up and, and this is all by design these are all these are all private and national military times of polarization and uh, the economy being polarized it's time when the Lord is the times now where the Lord is saying that that it'll rise up holy as a flood is just everything has been incubated for a time such as where we are today and it's all rising up as a flood and is rising up very very quickly as in the days of Noah the Lord said it comes quickly and suddenly and their hearts of men will be failing because of the things that the anticipation of the things that are about to befall upon them and so it's the uh, it's the heart of Babylon uh, that's going to really experience that it's, it seems in uh, Revelation chapter 18 first and then it's just gonna it's then it's gonna come really quick it's gonna it's over at that time it's over it's 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 done it's finished so that can happen whenever you know uh, what what I'm looking at is I'm looking at five months for Armageddon that means that Armageddon we're gonna have this this world war there's gonna be time like never has been and never shall be again Matthew 24 and that's going to be the way I'm seeing. I don't think it's going to be three years. That's a heck of a long time. God's not going to let us suffer that long. Okay, God removed Donald Trump because it's time. It's the appointed time. There's enough. Enough. He says it's enough. There's enough evidence. There's enough witness. We have. I have what I need. Now I'm closing the age. It's the appointed time. So. We'll see if that materializes. Once again, it's not official. The election is not official. I don't have the revelation, but um, I'm getting closer to confirmation. That's just how it works. And 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 uh, I, I move. I want to move slow on all of these things because uh, it's very important to get this th these things right. They have to be done properly. And I've been studying these since 2013. And the Holy Spirit has been given revelation, revelation slowly, more revelation here, more revelation. There's like little nuggets on the in the narrow road as I go. And he's put all this in my heart. It's not an imagination. It's not of my own. This is all from the Holy Spirit. So uh, these are just things to look out for, things to ponder, things to meditate on. And if, if nothing else, it's a warning call understanding these numbers these numbers cannot be disputed and this is the time God reveals during these times he doesn't reveal he, he, he said to Daniel close up those words it's not for now it's for the time appointed so now Daniel is being unlocked now revelation is being unlocked because the time is appointed and once all these things are manifested and the word goes out through his people God says, I do nothing until I tell my servants, the prophets and the messengers, the apostles. Uh, I'll do nothing until I, unless I tell them. So we are signs. And he's honoring us that way. So it's up to everyone else. It's up to, to you to take it to prayer. And if nothing else, to look at it as a sign of preparation. That's the most important thing. Okay, so I just wanted to cover just a couple more things. This here in the King James Version, this is the King James Version, says that he shall confirm the covenant. This is how the Bibles are written. That's why we study with different versions. In this version, it says he shall make a strong covenant with many. So this is, they're both correct, okay? The covenant was made when Jesus Christ breathed his last, and then he poured out his, the fiery tongues, his Holy Spirit of fire. He poured out his fire in his disciples in the days, in the day of Pentecost. So he made a strong covenant, and then he confirmed the covenant. Okay, he made the covenant. He made the covenant, he shall make a strong covenant, and then he confirmed the covenant. He confirmed the covenant in 2017. The southwest corner confirmed it. The southwest corner has the dominion, Daniel chapter 7. 
Okay, in Daniel chapter 7, you have the, 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 the leopard, you have the, um, the lion, which is the first covenant of Judah. Then you have the bear, which is the Assyrian sword. It's the northeast corner. And then you have the southwest corner, which is the leopard. And then you have the dragon, which is the northwest corner. The southwest corner has the dominion, has the Holy Spirit. So what happened, once again, uh, in, um, in, in 2010, the, the covenant made with ba uh, ba Bashar Assad, the agreement with ba ba Bashar Assad, uh, they, they promised him Jerusalem, and that is the northeast corner. And then again in uh, 2015, Barack Obama makes a covenant with Iran, the nuclear co covenant, with the northeast corner. So we have the northeast corner, the little horn of the northeast corner. And then what you have is Donald Trump is president, and he's the, the king. He's the little horn of the southeast corner. It's the soul. He comes out of the sea. And then you have the beast in Revelation, and, and, and he makes a covenant with the southwest corner. Okay, it was the evangelicals, southwest corner. So you, there you have the third, the three generations, the flesh, soul, and spirit. At the end comes out the beast in Revelation 13, 11. So Donald Trump is, is Revelation 13, 1 to 3. And then he, he comes out of the sea with the Spirit of God. And then in uh, Revelation 11, 13 comes the beast out of the sea. And that's the flesh. And that is uh, the, uh, the other horn. That is of the fourth dimension. That's the other little horn. Of the fourth dimension. So basically, it is a covenant with the, the, fu the fullness of the covenant with dead spirits. Third and fourth generation merge. Okay, and that is what is taking place right now. So if Donald, uh, if uh, Mr. Joe Biden begins his term and he officially begin be, is the president, no matter what happens, whether it was a fraudulent election or not. And there's fraud in every election. I believe that this one had the most in every in any election. If he remains, if he retains the presidency, then uh, it's it, it is the manifestation of the sons of Satan, the official manifestation, the image of the beast, causes the world to speak the gospel of Lucifer, Satan, and the devil in the fullness thereof. And so that fullness, once again. Can, can, can manifest in these three years, three days of darkness, or it, the, the prophecy is not done until 2031, at the end of 2030. And so there's another seven-year cycle there that will begin in 2023, will be the seventh day of this seven-year cycle. It will be the three days of darkness from 2021, 2022, and 2023. Now, I want to talk also regarding, so it's a call to be ready. It's a call to be ready, because this could very well be the final three days of darkness, the great, the, the, the fullness of the great tribulation for 666. So here in these notes, I just want to speak regarding um, a couple things that um, I want to interject here. The covenant is made after Jesus Christ breathed his last, and then the day of Pentecost did that. The confirmation, okay, the confirmation was there in 2017. So Jesus Christ makes the covenant on the day of Pentecost uh, with the fiery tongues, the baptisms of the fire. And then in 2017, after the 70 years expires, he confirms the covenant by um, using Mr. Donald Trump to uh, move uh, to declare Jerusalem the capital of Israel. It's a confirmation to the southeast corner, through the southwest corner, through the Holy Spirit, through the spirit of dominion. Jesus Christ was moving Donald Trump. That's the horn, the, the horn on the goat, on the he-goat, in uh, um, uh, Daniel chapter 8 also, that went and... and uh, and 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 crash and the the he goat or the 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 um, the he goat went towards the ram with vigor, and nothing could save the ram from the he goat. That was that was Hitler. Hitler is the ram. Okay, when in 1945 it was 1945. So that same horn is 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 led Donald Trump to do what he's doing. But 
it is, um, once again, Donald Trump is not born again. Okay, King Cyrus was not born again. King Cyrus was not in the covenant. Same thing happening with Donald Trump. Exactly. Now, uh, the confirmation is the Trump who did that. So here we have, I want to talk about the 42 months. Okay, so the 42 months, it says in the Bible, he's given 42 months of dominion to reign. And so those 42 months would begin in the inauguration. Or six months afterwards. Um, or six months, or, or the 42 two, two months would begin right then and there. And then, after the 42 months, he, that's it. His reign is done. So... Uh, here in, uh, I want to talk about the uh, three shifting years, okay? The three shifting years, and I want to talk about the, uh, the two years. Third and fourth dimension, the alignments and all that. I just want to talk about this real quick also, okay? Uh, there could be, between uh, Leviticus here is the three days, Isaiah is the three days. And so there's a little bit of, um, this uh, takes uh, the Holy Spirit to show us what this is. So, if we look at it this way, we have three years, right, where we eat the produce. And so we have 2016. 2016 is one year. It's the, it's the sixth day. And that's what it says. You, you, you take twice on the sixth day to, uh, of the manna to prepare yourself for this day. Because they, they worship... They had to do the Sabbath. And so you had one, uh, two, and three. This is the first day of a seven-year cycle. So this also applies in this covenant. So you have these two, these two years. It's always like two years. You have the, the spiritual 70th year, and you have the physical 70th year. And you also have these two years in Isaiah 37. I just thought I want to mention this. Because we do not do the Sabbath anymore. So here's the first year, the second year, and the third year now. Instead of the first year, second year, third year. Because we eat the produce here in 2019, during this year. So you have the first covenant, you have the second covenant. But we don't, we don't, God says to remember the Sabbath. He didn't say that we have to perform the Sabbath in this covenant age. We're in a new covenant. And so we remember the Sabbath every day because we step into the, into the uh, Sabbath of God every single day. The rest of God every day. The Temple of Baal is torn in two. And I want to speak regarding uh, the alignment also. I just wanted to edify this way. We, we, we spoke regarding uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Jubilee year, right? The alignment of the Jubilee year. Okay, it wasn't totally aligned here. Now it's totally aligned. Same thing with the 10-year with the cycle. If you look at it here... You have the year 2000, is, it fell on the fifth year, and then you have uh, 2010 is right here, okay, 2010, it, it, it fell here on the first day of the week, and then you have the year 2020, which falls here on the fourth day, on the fourth day of the seven-year cycle. Okay? So, now, it's lined up on the fourth, in the uh, fourth, uh, in the, the uh, fourth day, right, the fourth dimension, right here. Right in the center. Right here. In between the two thieves, in between the two parts, in between the two covenants, in between the evening, the day and the evening, the day and the night, in between uh, the um, uh, the two Passovers, right? So that's where we are. Everything is falling into perfect alignment, and we also have these two years. So you have the two seventy years. You have the the seventh here, the first day of the week after the end of. Um, um, a cycle, a seven-year cycle, you have number seven is perfection, and then number nine, so you have seven, so you have here, you have the, uh, the eighth year, and the ninth year is the, um, is, if we look at it this way, you see how you have this variable of two years, also here, 
and you have the uh, number nine being the number of, of completion. Perfection, uh, here the seventh day, the seventh day here, and then one, two, and then we have completion. See, so this was the seventh day. This was nine, this is 49 years. It was seven sevens. So you have the, the perfection, the perfection of beauty, the Holy Spirit showed me. That was the perfection of beauty, Donald Trump being elected. And then the perfection of beauty, and then the eighth king began to reign. And two years, 2017, 2018, because 2019 is the completion. The completion of the beauty of perfection. Not seven, set number seven and number nine is right here. Seven, eight, after nine, you have 2019, you have the uh, completion, year of completion. And if we go from the 70th spiritual year, 70 years, 71, two more years after that, you have the, uh, the flesh, the soul and the spirit at the end of the 2019, those three years, the completion of the flesh, soul, and the spirit. Two years. One, uh, this is uh, the completion of one year, 2017, 2018, and 2019. This completes one year, this completes two years, soul and spirit, and then, and then judgment. Perfection and completion. Okay, so here's another way of presenting those three years. You have Leviticus 37, 30, uh, 25, 20, and 22, and Isaiah 37, 30. And so you, you go from, we can go from 2016 to 2018, 1, 2, and 3. Or we can go from 2017 to 2018 to 2019. 1, 2, and 3. And then you have 2020. Here's a carryover. 2019, 2020. You see? So because the Sabbath year. Okay, the Sabbath year, once again, is not something we, you know, we observe it, but um, it's not something that we perform. But the, uh, the seven-year cycles, they still remain. There's a prophecy in Daniel, seven sevens, for the end, closing time of the age, the 70 years, the 72 years. Okay, so one last thing. The Holy Spirit, here in Daniel 27, the Holy Spirit says that He will make a covenant with many for one week. And so the one-week covenant, we see that Donald Trump, what he did is he moved the embassy in 2017, in 2017, the first day of this seven-year cycle, what did he do? He moved the embassy of America to the U.S. It was an evangelical movement. It was a movement from the evangelicals, from the covenant of God. And so he made a strong covenant with many, with the south and the east. Right there, he confirmed the covenant. He shall cause the sacrifice. He, he, he shall make a strong covenant. He will confirm the covenant. Right? He will confirm the covenant. And, and that's exactly what, what he did. And here we have uh, the time chart here with Leviticus. Uh, this speaks regarding Leviticus. Here it is here in 2019, Leviticus 37, 30, Leviticus 25, Isaiah 37, 30, Leviticus 25, 20, and 22. These three years, 2016, in, uh, 2017, 2018, 2019. Okay, those are the years. And here is the, um, the government. Once again, this is uh, the time chart. This is the chart that I used in the last video regarding... Uh, world media and Christianity and you see here here's the faith boxes right here and this is the fifth this is the fifth age this will be the second millennial age right here this is going to rule this is the, the, the mountain of God and it's going to rule over the entire world in a second millennial age and once again you have the uh, the O's and you have the pyramids 
Uh, okay, so you have the believers and the non-believers. You have the C. It's a secular society. And all the boxes are checked off. Okay, so the president, the leaders, they're, they're all priests and prophets. The president is Jesus Christ in, in, the, in the second millennial age. The government is Jesus Christ. And his administration is filled of priests and prophets. And they're all godly men of good intuition. You see? And that is in the fifth, that'll be in the second millennial age. The entire creation restored. Okay, so here, in December, December 7th, 2017, Jerusalem, U.S. President Donald Trump recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital on Wednesday and announced plans to relocate the embassy. I think that's what that would, that, that would say. So what the Holy Spirit has revealed is that in 2010, the covenant was made with Bashar Assad for the invasion of Syria, for the war in Syria, in order to raise up ISIS and to scatter abroad, to begin the movement of the takeover of Jerusalem. Because it has to be chaos in order to get the people situated where they need to be situated. And uh, so in 2015, interestingly, what the, it was the same government, it was the, same, it was the Democrats. They made a nuclear agreement with the Muslim sect of Iran. And so Bashar Assad, that's when he said that um, you can't trust the U.S., they're backstabbers. And that's what he said. It was in the it was in the in the news, and so here is also Daniel nine twenty seven where he will confirm a covenant with many. He will confirm. He will make a covenant. He will confirm a covenant with many. And then after the Democrats lost their their presidents presidency, here. Happened in the the first year, like he, he was actually he was nominated in 2016. So it was the year after that, after the year uh, 2016 of January 20th, where Donald Trump confirms the covenant with the Southeast, the U.S. Embassy, the Southeast, the South and East, and it was done through the Southwest corner. It was. It was in, in and, and it is a confirmation from God. And it was pretty much, it, it was uh, seven years, almost exactly seven years from when the uh, uh, confirmation from, uh, that the Democrats gave to Bashar Assad in Syria. And then after that um, was the other, once again, confirmation to Iran. So now what's, what, what, what we're looking at, we have the, the three horns here. We have Barack Obama, who is, who is governing the president in that time. And then we have Donald Trump, president in December 27, 2017, who makes that confirmation. And now we have Joe Biden from the Democrats. If he remains president, if his presidency remains, uh, presidency remains, then he is going to side with, with the Philistines. It's a pattern. And so you have the two horns, the, the, the two and the three and the four horns. You see, because the four horns is of the fourth dimension. It's the little horn of the fourth dimension, which is Lucifer. With, with humanity. So you have the third and fourth generation tightly knit together through the self-will of the third generation, uh, of the third dimension. And that is the uh, humanity, self-will humanity, making league with, with the other, the, the fourth dimensional little horn, Lucifer, Satan, the devil. It's third and fourth generation.